What is going on everybody, I'm the Gamer Raptor and welcome back to another Elden Ring build video. In today's build, I'm going to be showing you guys my build on the Bloodhound Fang in Elden Ring. Now I was honestly playing with the Bloodhound Fang a little bit and I have to be honest with you guys, I wasn't a big fan of the Bloodhound Fang, but when I tried it out, I honestly was in love with this weapon. Like the Ash of War itself is not that bad and the overall damage that you can make this weapon do is just very insane. Like you can definitely make it work with Blood Flame Blade and it will honestly just help you a lot. It does smelly damage bro. So I'm gonna be showing you guys my build on what I did to make this build work for me in Elden Ring. So if you do enjoy today's video be sure to leave a like and also subscribe if you're new and let's try and get this video to let's say 30 likes if we can man to push it out there for the YouTube algorithm but let's get straight into it. Alright guys so the weapon that I am wielding is the Bloodhound's Fang. This is at plus 9 and it is a curved gray sword and it does slash damage and overall this curved gray sword is not that bad honestly. Uh, it's Ash of War is honestly really good. Like here's an example. So you basically go for the Ash of War here, which is Bloodhound's Finesse, and you go straight for it again with Heavy. Like, after that, you go for Heavy, and you get that Upward Slash, which looks really awesome and really dope. But besides the Ash of War, it does have really good solid damage, which makes it a really good Curved Grey Sword in the game. Now, the attributes required to wield this weapon, you have to have a Strength of 18 and a Dexterity of 17. And the attribute scaling for the weapon is that you have to have a Strength of C, Okay, no. And its attribute scaling is that it has a strength of C and a dexterity of B. So you mainly want to put this as a dexterity build, not a strength build whatsoever. You want to push it all the way up with AD dexterity. That way you get the best out of this like weapon and whatnot. So it's better to just go for an overall dex, like dex uh, faith build if you want to, or a dex build overall and add a little bit of faith for like flame gram and strength or blood flame blade just to make this build shine. And it does cause blood loss buildup, so you can definitely put on Blood Flame Blade or anything else to get more blood loss from it. Also, here's the seal that I'm taking. I'm taking the God Slayer seal, and this is at plus 25. The reason I'm taking the seal is because it has a great ink and scaling at 257 instead of the claw mark seal. Um, when I went back and looked at it, it had a better ink and scaling than the claw mark seal itself. And it does have a faith of 27, so you can definitely get your faith up to like 27 and just keep it there, and you don't have to like push it up anymore. That way you can just use flame gram strength and blood flame blade both of those is really what i use for this build to make it work but if you want to you can definitely take the golden order seal which is another good one i mean it only has to have a faith of 17 and intelligence at 17 as well it has really good incan scaling than the god slayer seal so you can definitely take the golden order seal if you want to have that better incan scaling since that 284 uh what the guys uh, Slayer Seal is at 257. So, yeah, go in order. You can definitely take it too. Now, moving on to armor, I'm taking the White Mask and I'm also taking the Knight Maiden armor and I'm taking the Scaled Gauntlets and the Blood Hound Knight Greaves. I'm taking the White Mask only for the bleed, really. So, I just really want to get that bleed off. Uh, that way, I get more damage from the bleed itself. That's why I'm taking the White Mask and I just want to match it with the White Mask overall. So, I went with like the Knight Maiden armor and the Scaled Gauntlets and the Blood Hound Knight Greaves. Now, it doesn't give me the best poise, but this is just what i wanted to go for just for fashion overall dude moving on to talismans the talismans that i'm taking i'm taking shard of alexander to greatly boost the attack power of skills so always you gotta take shard of alexander to help with the ash of war side of thing i'm also taking the fire scorpion charm to raise the fire attack really just for blood flame blade that's really why i'm taking the fire scorpion charm honestly i've been thinking about it and it's like yeah i, I mean i could take the fire scorpion charm i mean i'm gonna be using fire attacks with blood flame blades i'm also taking lord of blood's exaltation so whenever i like get any bleed or if there's like any blood loss it increases my attack power significantly so that's why i'm taking lord of blood's exaltation and also taking the dragon curse gray shield talisman because i just really need it to like have good protection so definitely would take dragon curse great shield talisman just to enormously boost your physical damage negation but we go on to the flask of wondrous physic we have the blood second cracked here which temporarily increases the tap power but drains hp and i'm also taking the flame shroud and cracked here as well the temporarily boosts fire attacks mainly to boost the blood flame blade and really to boost my attacks in general so that's why i'm taking these two i mean sure blood sucking cracked here is is kind of it's kind of a double-edged sword because you're gonna be losing to hp however you just got to be be careful and time your dodges correctly and if you do that you'll be able to survive with blood sucking crack here on also for great runes i recommend radon's great rune as it does raise the maximum hp fp and stamina i always re recommend radon's great rune you can also go for morgan's great rune if you want to increase your hp more but i just say radon's as always just the best great rune overall in the game just to take
all right guys if you're looking for a level 200 build for this bloodhound fang build here's what i recommend for a level 200 bloodhound fang build so for vigor i would go to 60 vigor because well you want to have a lot of hp even in the dlc you want to have a lot of hp that way you don't have to get one shotted by the boss and you'll be able to survive a little longer for mind i would have mine at 30 that way you can actually use the ash war a little bit however you don't want to use it too much you, you want to try and get your swings and your strikes in too so you want to try to like use them both wisely like balance it out uh, but it, hey the mind itself at 30 is honestly okay for endurance i put my endurance at 37 this is if you want to boost yourself up with more different armor i mean if you want to have like more sturdier armor you can i just i just wanted to be safe with it so if you want to put your endurance at 37 to have endurance and more armor or if you want to go with less armor it's really up to you if you're really good at dodging for strength, I have strength at 23. I just put a little bit of points to 23 for strength. Uh, that way, I, the leftover points that I have, I wanted to have it to make it at 200, really. So I put a little bit of points to strength. For dexterity, I would have dexterity all the way up to 80 because the scaling for the Bloodhound Fang is basically better for dexterity since that B. So definitely will want to put uh, your dexterity at 80. Intelligence, you really don't have to worry about. For faith, I would have faith at 27. That way you'll be able to use the God Slayer seal and you won't have any problems worrying about it. You'll just use it for mainly just flame grape and strength and blood flame blade. And for arcane, you want to have arcane at 12. That way you'll be able to use blood flame blade and get your damage going. There you have it, guys. That's going to do it for today's video. I do hope you guys enjoyed today's video on the Bloodhound Fang. I honestly enjoy this weapon. This weapon is so nasty and so fun. I want to know what you guys think about the build in the comments down below. What do you guys think of my build? Do you think it's good? Do you think I need to change some things to make it better? Please let me know in the comments. I'd like to hear what you guys think in the comments below. But yeah, guys, with that being said, I'm the Game Raptor. Stay well, right the pack. I will see you guys in the next video. All right, guys. Peace out.